Hello, my lovely Virgo. How are you, loves? I hope everyone is well. Virgo, welcome to the second part of the month. And since today is a full moon in Leo, we decided to do a bi-weekly reading for each zodiac sign. Two weeks from now, or from the time you view this video, by the end of February. Whatever sign you are, sun, moon, or rising, or even Venus. We have the oracles as advices, which will gather at the end of the reading, and the borderless deck of Rider White for the reading. And of course, whatever in the world you are, welcome. I hope you find something useful, something that you are looking for or basically that you find the right guidance right here. Either you are always here or just new to the channel, welcome. That's a loves, Virgo. What do we got for you? Ten of Swords, Justice, and Three of Wands. All right. You are moving from a dark period of your time. The universe is telling you, you are on the right path. The universe has your back. As well, with the Wheel of Fortune, there's a lot of movement which you are about to see in your life. For some Virgos, you've gone through a legal separation with someone. For others of you, you just basically getting into your balance or getting where you need to you you needed to leave something behind which totally probably crushed you or was a very hard decision for you but ten of swords very much speaks this is behind you and now you are going forward it's kind of the world is yours you are gonna go forward and indeed you are the wheel is turning here you are in ace of copy energy brand new energy for virgos yes indeed here you you let something behind which consumed a lot of time and energy but the universe is telling you i got you my child Ace of Wands, Knight of Cups, and voila! You, Virgo, are heading towards something stable and grounded and beautiful. So look at here. Ten of Wands, Ten of Pentacles. So whatever you leave behind, yes, was not awesome. Ten of Swords. The only one ten is missing is Ten of Cups, which day is where you're going. And there is an offer on the table. Could be from someone or basically from the universe. The Major Arcana number ten. Wow, that's something else for you, Virgo. So indeed here could be a week, could be a month from now. Where are you going? The Ten of Wands here, High Priestess. You knew what you needed to leave behind. Like your intuition speak to you very strongly. Wheel of Fortune, Justice and the High Priestess are the cards which are major arcanas. And none of less, we just have just two major arcanas. There was something here needed to be done. So you can go meet your manifestations. So whatever you manifested here was on the way to you, but you might, first you needed to do something to get those things you ask the universe 
it's kind of like you make a deal with the universe which might not be totally that way but that's what I'm feeling because you needed to leave something behind which you knew it's not serving your purpose or your purpose is not there so here are you olives the ten of swords nine of swords for some of you you it's kind of you still haunted by that energy but you you felt anxious leaving something behind sometimes you need to leave something which you thought is big for something bigger and that's the Virgo done three of wands tower that is an instant awakening for some Virgos like oh now I realize what I needed to do to get my manifestations to rule be showing up because the environment or let's say the box you used to be in Virgo was very small let's face it, it was very small you probably were in a box which didn't really fit you you try to fit probably for a good period of time but then was like that's breaking so you needed to grow you needed to move ace of cups clarifying the judgment wow that's another card that very much speaks to you. Now you know. That whatever you ask the universe is possible. But in. It's like on a certain way or. In certain circumstances. Patsy loves. It's kind of the the Virgo I'm speaking. It's now makes sense certain things probably didn't make, let's say, a few months ago. And now it's just kind of like wow, now I know. And for some of you you know, now realize like oh now I now I know what step needed to be done and that means growth that speaks about growth you level up Virgo big times and I feel here the advice was to open up to be open because you've been testing as you see here in the temperance testing waters one foot in the water one foot out another thing here is like your patience your balance was tested Eight of Cups and Two of Cups and Eight of Pentacles underneath. So for some of you, you basically needed to accept that healing is needed, patience is needed and to seek what seeks you you see you are absolutely going in the right direction eight of cups two of cups that makes the tenth let's see here in the deck 
Where's the Ten of Cups? Where's the Ten of Cups? Oh, here he is. So the Ten of Cups is in between Lovers and Four of Cups. Choosing the opportunity when universe is offering you, not refusing it, or accepting the opportunity given to you by the universe when it's offered. Again, Virgo, you are on the right track. Oracle, you are moving into a peaceful energy, loves. Beautiful one, Dove Spirit. Be peace. The Turkey Spirit give with gratitude and grace. Time to let go and watch your words. Yes. Whatever here you you let go, was needed to be healed and for you to find your peace. Very strong. Virgo, you know, nothing is just like that in life. And nothing is coming by coincidence, which many times might feel like so. But always know that you are heading in the direction you need to. Sometimes might be setbacks, divine detours, but seeing that wheel of fortune, you are on the right direction. Keep, and again, keep moving. Blessings, loves. I hope this energy helps you to dive into and, you know, get the guidance probably you are looking for. If you do, don't hesitate to be part of this family by subscribing, liking it, sharing it. And know always that your feedback is very much valid here. And even I'm not responding to all your messages, I do read all of them. Thank you, loves. Namaste.